29 there. Right. Let's get on with it. We're going to use a centre. Because fortunately for us, the manufacturers have put a centre in it. put this in a collar because whenever I can I prefer to, to use collars. This spindle nose on this lathe has got a 5C collar built into it with a draw bar to uh, tighten it. Uh, why, why use a collar? A, well they're more accurate than a 3 jaw, they're faster than a 4 jaw and everything is closer to the bearing, headstock bearings instead of with a chuck you're four five inches further out so anyway let's go Tool's too big to get in there. Well, that one is as well. Excellent. Let's just see what how this one cuts. Diamond. See where we are. Twenty-eight point three two. So if we take a millimeter off, we'll be on twenty six. Twenty 
six eight. So I'll take another five. CBN cuts so much better than that carbide did. Twenty-five point seven six. So three and a half. So if we say um, six. So if we say point three five. Point three five. See where that gets us. Twenty-five point twenty-five point one four. To just spin past. Zero my dial. And wind out. So I know where I am. Let's see if that will pop on there. It's trying. Not quite. So I go back to our zero. Again, it's induction hardened on the first bit, which is probably what's given us problems. Good fit for a sliding fit. Right, I'm pleased with that. We're going to take it out of the lathe and we'll try it in the housing and see where everything lines up. Okay, so we have a race. in there Right. 
as you can see that's a very tight fit. in that's in there top race on so top race on that is looking quite good if I may say so myself Time to have one. He's tapping down until it takes up the clearance of the bearing. A bit more. I assume that's why it's got all these spaces. Bit of slack on that, yeah. that I believe that's it's just a flat plate so what he actually wants is a shim on there that goes in So, and when you turn, I don't know if you can see that, can you see it? The shaft here turning. Let me put a flag on it. So, when this shaft is turned, that turns that one. And that is how it steers. Right, I think that's done. That goes. On there. 
with a gasket. That's it. That's my job done. Okay, uh, sorry I haven't spoken much on this, I've um, been thinking while I've been working, um, I suppose some people think about what they're going to say and then do the job, um, I'm doing the job and then thinking how the bloody hell am I going to do this, um, so I can go a bit quiet, which might not be very entertaining but what have I learnt um, I've learnt that I needed to buy a new lathe tool so that I didn't use carbide on um, on this shaft on, on the bottom end of this shaft because when I cut the top end with a CBN cutter it cut beautifully even though it was induction hardened, it still cut beautifully. Whereas with carbide, it wasn't very good, to be honest. It did it, um, but it eats carbide, and you get a lot of pushback on your tool, so you think you're taking a cut, and it doesn't happen the way you think it should, which really makes you scratch your head. So that's one thing what else the mandrel worked that worked really well um, to resize the original bearings I was surprised to see such a difference in their sizes I didn't measure it but it wasn't slight not not in engineering terms um, yeah but it's all done it's um, works perfectly there's no damage to anything and uh, I'm sure he'll be very happy with it because he didn't have any steering. It, uh, what normally happens is it rusts inside and it all locks up and you're like a monkey wrenching on the steering wheel and by the time you've managed to turn it you've run off your track. So anyway with that thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video please say so. Give me some tips if you've got any. Um, I might consider in the future cutting bearings on the tool cutter grinder instead of on the lathe. I think it would be a lot easier to creep up on your size than what I showed today because that really wasn't working very well. Um, although, you know, we have got there and it's nice. Uh, so I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to have a bit of a think on it. You have a think on it as well. And let me know what you think. And... Uh, I'd appreciate it if you enjoyed it, subscribe and like the video for me, help me along a bit and uh, we'll see what else we can come up with. I get all sorts, I never know from one day to the next what's coming through the door. So some stuff will be interesting to some people and some stuff will be interesting to somebody else. And with that, thank you for watching. Good night. <laughs>